Uber loses London licensing in stunning ruling by Transport for London or London Calling. Uber no more. Yeah, that's that's what I came up with. I'm Paul Gordon. I'm with iState.tv, and this is today's News Watch. Uber is no longer available to Londoners anymore. Thanks to a recent decision by Transport, Transport for London, TFL, that Uber's current private hire operator's license would not be reissued when it expires this September 30th. So it seems the London government is no longer in the mood to grant human beings the freedom licenses arbitrarily needed to use their own vehicles to pick people up and deliver them to the destination of their choice. It also seems that the London government is no longer willing to trust the little people, that would be you and I, the little people, the ones who might decide to use that Uber app to solicit an Uber ride to be able to discern what is or is not a safe ride. Uber, working within the system, has vowed that it will challenge the arbitrary canceling of the arbitrarily assigned freedom licenses. Now, I'm going to reveal a little bit later that, that the canceling isn't quite so arbitrary. But be that as it may, that uh, they're, they're, they're going to challenge the, the canceling of their, of their freedom licenses. Licenses to use your own vehicle as you choose to use it. And in this case, to get paid by someone to transport that transport them from one point to another point. Uber currently has about 40,000 drivers in London, meaning the arbitrary, not so arbitrary, decision to cancel this particular version of our freedom license will cause nearly 40,000 people to lose incomes, many of whom were relying almost solely, if not solely, on this source of service providing for income. Now, of course, TFL, uh, which, by the way, should should change their name to FTFL. <laughs> you do the math on that one. TFL had to come up with some ostensible reason for arbitrarily deciding to cancel the Uber licenses. They said in their staper, statement that Uber was not fit and proper. They cited concerns that Uber's methods for reporting driver offenses how they screened for driver medical conditions and safety records were, were not sufficient. And finally, that they were uncomfortable with Uber's secret, uh, it's called Grayball, the software, uh, to, as they put it, dodge transport officials. Translation, avoid government's uh, heavy hand. TFL stated that while the license expires September 30th, Uber can continue to operate while they appeal the decision. And they've been given 21 days to appeal. They'll be allowed to operate until the appeal process has been fully exhausted. Thank you. Thank you. The magnanimity from, from FTFL is, is unbelievable. This decision smacks of nothing more than protectionism of the more lucrative for the TFL traditional London taxi service, as well as the uh, public transportation service, than it does actually protecting potential customers from unsafe Uber drivers. So businesses such as Uber are, are a fundamental threat to the ability of government to control commerce and trade, to regulate the voluntary transactions of of human beings they they cut out so many of the middlemen through which government found it much easier to regulate business than than where you're dealing or you're almost dealing you're right person to person there ooh ooh scandalous person to person in the licensing decision issued by TFL they said TFL's regulations of London's taxi and private hire trades is designed to ensure passenger safety 
Private hire operators must meet rigorous regulations and demonstrate to the TFL that they do so in order to operate. TFL must also be satisfied that an operator is fit and proper to hold a license. Well, anybody who's been watching these videos recently, you kind of know what's coming. This paragraph goes to the heart of this entity's claim of legitimacy and making a decision to protect the favored, more lucrative industry, the traditional taxi service and the public transportation service, at the expense of the non-traditional, non-controlled, non-lucrative, from the TFL's perspective, service of Uber. So, so I tell you what. <clears throat> Let's 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 put on our our our, our detranslator or our translator, however you want to look at it. I'm I'm detranslating. I'm I'm removing Govpreneur BS speak, and I'm translating this to honest and frank expression. This is what they would sound like if they were being brutally honest with you. TFL's regulations of London's taxi and private hire trades is designed to ensure that the government of London get it, gets it right and proper kickback from transport organizations and to protect any transportation services the London government runs. We create a myriad of rules and regulations that raise the cost of business, thus keeping out competitors so as to protect our favored, favored, political allies, while also raising revenue in our ongoing governor efforts. TFL must be satisfied that a transportation service is run by our favored political allies, and that in the running of that service, TFL is assured a generous proportion of the profits. Now, sort of, I'm having third elevensies. There you go. I think I fixed it. So this decision is yet uh, another example of governorship at work. Remember, government is a business, an enterprise, but its products and services are not necessarily desired. However, you will purchase them because if you don't, eventually people with lethal weapons will knock on your door and bring you to account. The TFL... It's simply an extension of a coercive enterprise, in this case, the London government. Without government, who would arbitrarily, or not so arbitrarily, if you realize why they've made this latest decision, and I think I've covered that, deny people their fundamental human right to voluntary exchange? Without government, who would protect a customer-friendly a more efficient method of acquiring transportation to go from one place to another service, purely in the interest of protecting legacy services. And if you go to the description and the comment section, you'll see a link to the article that I wrote that I used to create this video. And in that article, you will see their statement in full so you can judge for yourself. Uh, exactly. Uh, well, 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 am I right? Uh, and be sure to uh, share your comments. And you can share your comments below. And above all else, be sure that you share this video, like this video. Please, please to subscribe to the iState channel. As you can see, this is what it looks like. You subscribe. You hit the subscribe button. This subscribe the big red button there on the on the right. If you could see it, you hit the subscribe button. And after you hit the subscribe button, be sure you hit that bell so you get the latest notifications for when we make our next video. So I'm Paul Gordon with iState.tv, and this has been our news watch for the day. We'll see you the next time we see you.